I'm going to tell this in English language, in plain and simple. This is related to this video about Mostar and all other videos concerning Croatia. Psychiatry in Mostar. You know, Mr. Milanovic and... and Kolinda Grabar and we have here Croatian Prime Minister yeah, I have a message for Europe for United States Andrei Plenkovic, I, I want to deliver you a personal message, you know, the message is like this, those who have seen me during MK Ultra know that I defended Croatia in the same way as I defended Slovenia, as much as I possibly could do for Croatia, I did it, without me there would be no Oluja, there would be no storm operation and you can go and you can ask and everybody knows it. At least it's what appeared to me from the Western Europeans that they made themselves clear about these issues. Now, I'm going to say to you like this. You know, uh, I go brain dead because I don't know where to start it always goes to the same thing it it ends with the same thing i don't want to sound full of myself i don't want to sound uh, Yeah, full of myself. I don't want to for you to think too much about myself. I I don't want to you for you to think. Anyways, fuck you. I know you don't think much about me as a human being. Anyways, and even if you would, I wouldn't give a three fuck about. Here is why. You know, my life is worth ten thousand times more than what Croatia is worth. Why are you going to say? Well, for one thing, because for me, the whole world knows who the fuck I am. For the Croatia, I personally have gone through hell. If you watch the video about Mostar Psychiatry, I'm disturbed with this stuff. Nobody knows who pays, who drinks, Nobody knows who kills for whom, why. You don't know who is stabbing you from behind. This is a perfect example. It's exactly what went on. But the effect is the same. You get killed. You simply get killed, basically. Effect is the same. When I say Croatia is not worth piss from the dog, I mean, I got to ask myself, if I championed, if I pioneered, if I, if I fought for the Serbia or for the Russia as much as I did for Slovenia and or for Croatia, would the Serbs and or Russians do the same thing to me? Would they treat me in the same way as the Croats did? The answer to the question is absolutely no fucking way. The answer is no. They would see me like a human being 
and they will do best their abilities because I have seen that shit. Take care of me. You understand? That's why I said the Croatia is not worth the fucking shit. It's not worth the fucking piss. Because in Croatia, you don't know who is killing, who is stabbing from behind. For whom, what, how. But the effect is the fucking same. You are either killed from the Serb or from the Croat, but you are killed. And the shit stays on and the shit continues to go on. Tick, 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 tick. Like a fucking bunny energizer. They are just unstoppable. It's always the same fucking people. They run the same fucking thing. Everything goes same fucking perfect. But the economic, the overall, the social situation is deteriorating without absolutely any doubt. Now, I'm not professional on the world of Croatian internal affairs. Um, maybe I'm even wrong about it when it comes to Croatia itself. But from my point of view, I absolutely will never go beyond less whatever I stated here. Would the Serbs, would the Russians do absolutely what Croats and Slovenes have done to me? The answer is no. To me, that's what it tells me, that Croats and, and Slovenes are working for their masters over there in Belgrade. You're fucking homeless dogs in a quest, in a search for your ownership from Belgrade, my friends. That's all there is to it. You you will not you will not fix this stuff. You will not prove me wrong because of what I stated. You are swines beyond any doubt. You did this shit because you murder, and that's why I said it's ten thousand times worse, better, more expensive, more precious than any Croatia ever was. Because it's pure. Because at least I am, you know. And anything that the world knows for what it is, anything that is loyal to itself, that is coming in a form for what it is, it's actually precious. It should be for somebody precious, somebody who holds any, anything in this world, hold its value. Absolutely anything hold its value. And it's precious to something, to someone. Maybe not in this country, maybe not in Croatia and whatever. But there is somebody that holds this type of element that is expensive. It's, it's worthy. It's what Western civilization is built upon. I'm not going to say dear to his heart or her heart, wherever it is. And yeah, you may be laughing over there because this is what this shit is all about. But still, these are the facts you cannot change. At least when you know for something is for what it is, you can hate it as much as you want. But it, you will not say it doesn't have the value because it does have a value. It does certain have it does have a certain value because it represents certain thing. And if it's true, it definitely does have a value. In a world where there are politicians that are stressing this kind of values without having anything to do to prove whether these values are real or not. As to when it comes to Croatia, what exactly is the value? What is to me the value of the country that I don't actually know what's going on in this country? What is to me the country that that exists on a paper that does have a politicians that they are cherishing something and at the same time it's like they continue to figure out how to resolve some kind of issue that started 52 fucking years ago in some kind of Yugoslavia. To me, that kind of country is not worth a fucking shit. It's, it's worthless. It's totally fucking worthless. It's a mistake in the map. It's just a lot of people that have to pay with their lives for this to be recognized. 
by other nations to be recognized that this is a mistake in the map. This is not really a nation. It's bullshit. It's a mistake in the map. It exists out there and it doesn't exist. So, and even if it exists out there, who the fuck does it exist for? Plenkovic, Milanovic, who? Kolinda Grabar, Kitarovic, who? Who is so precious in Croatia? Who is so smart? Who is so brilliant? Who is so much worthy in Croatia that you are worthy of this kind of stuff, my God? You're fucking precious, say, eh? but, you know, to me, you're not. You're precious to yourself. You're not precious to me. You don't have to bring me to Croatia, yeah, to get murdered, to get killed. Croats murdered here in this case for 51 years. This is like you go and you you try to save somebody in, a, in an awkward way, in a such a way that you cripple him, you fuck him up, and you finally, you know, finally dies. And it's like, oh, you know, surgery succeeded. Patient somehow died. Croatia, this is a fucking mistake on the map. If there will be another war, like it was the one on the Balkans, and I would be asked by the people what to do with the Croatia, I would say, listen, uh, this is like Serbs, basically. This is the same like a Serbs. These motherfuckers are the same like a Serbs. It's actually, they're more dangerous. They're really dangerous because you don't know who the fuck they are. And they're doing demented, crazy stuff they murdered people from abroad, from other countries. Russians and Serbs used them to get to the good people in Slovenia, to other in other countries, hijacked them, tortured them, killed them together with the Slovenian Udba, basically. This is what this, this is what the Croatia is. And this really is what Slovenia is. It's not short of this, this is what it was for the last fifty-two years.